You are now watching Hey Jude. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your favorite one and done connoisseur here once again. Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. Hey, Jude. And today I'm going to go ahead and do some more ranked matches. And just to let you guys know, the trial period is, is still going on. I want to see if you guys are interested in doing this. So if you are interested in seeing more gameplay, ranked matches and whatnot, make sure you leave a like and comment down below that you do. So I know to continue the series. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the matches. Ready? This time I'm rocking that Piccolo in the same shell, Goku and Bardock. And uh, yeah, as you noticed, I jumped back in the beginning of the match so that uh, I could preemptively avoid any Bardock shenanigans. Uh, as you guys know, if you're familiar playing Bardock in the beginning, they love to do that Lariat into assist. So just to avoid it, I always do up back. Not sure if it's the best option, but it always works for me. Now, this guy is playing GT, Goku, Bardock, and uh, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, not a bad shell at all. It's actually the other team that I was using the other day. Uh, big team, uh, a, a very good team, especially with GT Goku being um, on point. Personally, I like him on point more, but he plays him in the middle, and he catches me right here, and I think he's just going to go ahead and do the BNB. Oh, no, he does. Uh, oh, no. He tried to go for something different, and he drops it, unfortunately, and I am going to do a sliding knockdown into a level 3, no doubt. Oh no, if I did the spinning, yeah. I do the spinning, I'm, I'm definitely DHCing or I'm just going for more pressure. And we have Piccolo back on the screen. Now, whenever I throw that orb out, as you guys already know, um, it's just there for pressure. And as you saw, I got a little too cocky, ran a little too far, and he catches me slipping. Goes for 2-0 into BNB, &B, and he has the pressure advantage right now. He used that command man, honestly, greatly. He covered the low, and I got caught once again. Oh no, he messed up right there. Not sure exactly what he was going for. But he is going for a ride right here. And I think I'm going to try and get the loops going right here if I can set it up. Yep. I should be getting the loop set it up. <laughs> going. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. This this being in the game is the biggest bullshit. Now, the thing that is great about it is uh, they nerfed uh, meter meter gain. So you can't do it continuously uh, if, you can't, if you don't already have the meter. Eventually, you will run out of the meter to do it. And as you can see, I'm just going to keep doing it. I honestly want him to spark so I can get out of the way. But I am trying to trick him and mix up the mix up the ways that I approach him after it. So that I can keep him in this loop. And just honestly keep whittling down his life. As you guys already know, if you don't know honestly, uh, when you tag somebody in, it takes away the blue life that they have at that point. Right here, I'm happy that Goku came back and I am going to kill this GT Goku here. Yep. Now, like I said... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Piccolo on that bullshit, but there's really nothing else you could do about it, truthfully. I think the, the meter gain on it, uh, on combos after um, after a snap and things like that, uh, I think it was a smart idea to, to, to nerf it without, you know, really killing Piccolo because I don't think you really should change Hellstone Grenade. Just change the way that the game worked and they made a, a great call, honestly. Now there goes Bardock killing him with the same combo once again. I swear I, I used a meter and a meter didn't go away. I guess it's because I killed him right on the dot. But um, yeah, he's playing the zoning game right now with Goku. He's jumping around doing 2M. I'm trying to avoid it. Catches me with that Dragon Rush. Like I said, I'm hella free to it. If you want to beat me, um, yeah, just Dragon Rush. I will always get caught by it. Now it's not always free. But if you get me scared, if you get me to respect you, and I'm just blocking your moves, that's it. And right there, I don't know why I tried to challenge him. Um, he did it in the previous match start too, where he immediately, you know, dash forward and did jump to jump M L L. I honestly should have waited for it and and countered it, but this is the price that I pay a full combo into a level three. And once again, once again, as you see. Do Dragon Rush, I most likely will not do anything about it. And the reason why I'm saying do Dragon Rush is so, you know, the more familiar I get with it, uh, the better I can get at countering it, and the more frequently I will counter it. So, like I said, you guys ever run into me online, you know, shit, Dragon Rush for free, bro. Until you see me blocking it or, or um, countering it, keep doing it. But here I am just, uh, just really... <laughs> doing what I always do if you ever see me in sparking I love to go for overhead shenanigans where I just keep doing it um disrespectful to a point but honestly I'm not using it in a disrespectful way I honestly just want to get as much damage as I can and uh yeah you guys already know resets are the best way to do that and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish him right here am I I may have messed it up no no I think this may be finished am I gonna finish it yeah 
this should be it for our boy Darwin. Um, yeah, Dar. We'll call him Darwin. GG, Darwin. Now we got a big boy on the screen. We got 16, and truthfully, um, I think I personally 16 is one of the characters that I hate playing the most. Simply because I don't know when I can go, when when I can take my turn, you know. Um, yeah, I really messed up right there. I think I called Goku too late, or I'm not too sure. I know this match was kind of laggy. You feel like you're fighting underwater, but, you know, you can't complain all the time, truthfully. Everybody's dealing with the same thing. You may not get top quality gameplay or the best I can do, but it doesn't really matter. We're both dealing with the same situation. Um, but yeah, he went ahead and tagged in GT Goku here, and... Yeah, I think he was going to try and go for that power pole, use it, use it, um, use the reach. I am not a big fan of trying to zone with power, power pole, it's way too slow, and more likely than not, you are not going to actually hit your opponent. Now, he did a raw tag there, and I was able to punish him, and I used the meter to get that hard knockdown, and then I, I went ahead and did the level 3, and yeah, that presser once again, Oh. Yeah, the Bardock was able to catch him, but unfortunately Piccolo was just out of range. I honestly should have did Jump H, and I think I would have been able to continue the combo after that. But that's not how I went, and I got my 2L, and he is going for a ride. Am I going to do it? Yep, I am going to do it. We're going into shenanigans again. Now, Android 16 is one of those characters. Now, this is one thing you'll see often where people try and counter the, um, the Hell Zone grenade loop uh shenanigans they will intentionally get hit just to let you guys know if the person picks up on it they can honestly just jump up and do the dragon rush again and you will have to take dragon rush mix anyway so uh the best thing you can do honestly is try to block it as best as you can or sparking uh to get out of it and try and kill the piccolo immediately me personally if i see someone on the team that i'm gonna have an issue with that they're a big problem to me I will get rid try and get rid of that character at all costs personally now right there once again uh, he ran into the orb but it didn't seem like it really mattered he got me anyway so my Bardock is gonna come in we are 2v2 uh, but he is massively massively at a disadvantage with with life like his life is if I get one combo on any of the characters they are going to die um, did a good job of blocking that mix-up, actually reflecting me out of there. Ooh, nice backdash. Okay, I see what he's doing. He, he tried to catch me lacking. Um, caught me here anyway. And what is he gonna do after this? I, oh, no. Yeah, lag must be getting to him. Like I said, it may not seem like it, but there is some lag here. So, fortunately, it got to him right there, and I was able to capitalize off of it. Now, finally with... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Alright, so... He tried to do round open uh, 5S, and I think he got kind of shook, so he vanished, and that led to his downfall, so yikes. GG's. Okay, so we have GT Goku, Gohan, and Yamcha here. Now, Yamcha is a character that uh, I'm always on the lookout for, another problem character, but I think Yamcha is a problem character for a lot of people. Uh, probably specifically for the use of the assist because it's really good. It's similar to GT Goku's this little running punch that you see right here. But as an assist, um, it's very deadly because it catches a lot of people off guard. Number one, it has forward moving momentum. Uh, and number two, it's very fast. So it's really hard to get around. Ooh, uh, this guy probably knew I was a scrub and was going to try and go for that 6M assist. And he just mashed on that level three and caught me lacking. And... Like I said, guys, previously, if you feel like someone is not being respectful, if you feel like someone is just pressing buttons and thinking they won't get punished and you have a level 3 on deck, go for it. And right now, I think I'm, I'm honestly just going kind of ham. I, I, I'm honestly, I honestly seem like I'm playing kind of nervous. Um, yeah, you know, I may have gotten shook because I've spent my sparking already. And uh, yeah, um, a lot of that play wasn't clean, but... Fortunately, I was able to get away, you know, not hurt too bad. And here we have Yamcha himself. Now, that almost caught me. Ooh, nice nice assist call. I probably would have caught him if it wasn't for the assist call. And normally after I checked, I, I don't know if you noticed it. Well, <laughs> I checked him right there with a jab, and then I jumped over him. I crossed him up and uh, tagged him with the M. And here we are with the shenanigans once again. And 
Uh, right here, I did a a uh, an instant air dash. I did two of them to just like I said. I'm trying to keep it. Uh, I'm trying to keep it unpredictable, or at least try and vary it, so that I can keep the loops going. Because if you do the same thing over and over again, you know, people get used to your patterns, and they'll just end up blocking it, and you no longer have loops. And wow, the hit stun on that Bardock assist! Dude, I was able to have a limb out and continue comboing, and I think I'm gonna show it right here. Yeah. So if you just get hit by, even though that was in a combo, that's the same thing that can happen in an actual if you just let it hit you. Okay, now. This is one of those things that I'm always afraid of sparking uh, whenever they activate sparking anyone honestly sparking gives you abilities that you normally wouldn't have you can cancel moves that you normally wouldn't be able to cancel and it makes the game or it makes everyone a lot more tougher to block obviously it, I, it's supposed to give you that then it's, it's a uh, comeback mechanic but um yeah very hard for me to deal with luckily it was a level 2 sparking so I didn't have to deal with it for a long time he catches me lacking with the double jump H and that is a dead piccolo now I do have two fully loaded characters in health but he's not too bad on health his Yamcha is looking kind of low if I get one combo on him right now um I should be able to kill him but yeah he had me on the on the back foot right here and I'm really just trying to get uh trying to get something going Fortunately, with the safe jump, he vanished, and I was able to counter him right here, so this honestly should be dead. Is it? Yep! He is dead, and I think I used the Goku for, for good measure. Now, we are down to his Gohan. Gohan, another one of those characters, very good. Uh, not sure why a lot of Gohans do that. I guess there must be a lot of people who try and, you know, bulldoze straight at Gohan, so they use 5S. 5S, not a bad tool. Oh, he did a 2H on wake-up. I guess he thought he was going to catch me in. This is probably going to be dead. Is it? Yeah, this is definitely dead. Uh, GG's, Nero, man. This honestly has to be one of the most awkward teams I've ever seen. Majin Buu, Tien, and, and Frieza. Definitely doesn't seem like I've I, I don't think I've ever seen this team before, and yeah, you can see the long limbs of, or that one long limb of Majin Buu, and especially that fat toss. I'm very aware of that fat toss. You get caught by it, um, and you have to deal with the mix, which I don't want to do. Uh, I'm throwing out the orb so I can like I, I'm playing right here, like I'm just getting opened up. Truthfully, like he, he he's just getting me in every which way, and yeah, I'm I'm I think I'm honestly just panicking right here, trying to get out of. Uh, trying to get out of dodge and just doing things to, to try and avoid it. Yeah, yeah I don't know what I was trying to do there, but it got me and he did the smart thing by by tagging in my piccolo So all the blue health is gone and let's see what I can do here. Okay. Yeah, so I checked him once again did the uh, Jump crossover and did the M and here we go. I think I'm gonna go into loops again. Yep Now one thing I started to figure out as I was playing him a little bit more uh, I started to notice, at least in my opinion, the Tien was kind of like the glue on the team. Oh man, I messed up. Uh, I messed up my combo right there. Uh, I started to notice that the the Tien was kind of the glue on the team, where um, I felt like he based a lot of his gameplay and some of the shenanigans around it, especially you know things like uh, doing a combo into his uh, into the assist, so you can do like Dragon Rush and whatnot. Um, yeah, and I wanted to get Tien out of there immediately because I felt like if I got Tien out of there, I would be able to hurt his team synergy, um, you know, a lot. You know, especially with Frieza and Majin Buu, I don't think they have the best synergy. So one of the things that I would recommend to anyone is target team synergy as well. Don't just target uh, specific characters. Um, specific characters just, just because sometimes aiming for somebody's uh you know glue character that's what i'll call it their glue character aim for them and i think it's possible it may open up the door to having an easier time to deal with the team as a whole now uh majin buu one of those characters you don't really see too often um yeah i i think uh, i can't even I, I don't even know how many i've seen maybe honestly probably i can count them on the fingers of one hand Right there, once again, I'm doing my scrub tactic where I do 6M into uh, a syscall. And, you know, a lot, it's very good for people who's not expecting it. But once you get higher up, um, I'm sure a lot of people will counter exactly what I'm doing. Because 
not exactly the best uh, way to open somebody up, and it's not exactly, you know, hard to see. Uh, here we go with Frieza being in Sparking, and yeah, once again, whenever someone's in Sparking, always be on the lookout. Uh, there, there, once again, you saw me do, I jumped up a little higher once I saw the Sparking activate, and 9 times out of 10, you can slip under them uh, once they, you know, whiff. But, do not get comfortable with that, because if they make the, the adaption on fly like you do, uh, they can adjust their timing, space out their button presses a little more, and they can make it so that it brings you all to all the way to the ground. So don't commit if you if you notice that they made the uh, made the correction. Now, right there, I, one thing I didn't even know: Piccolo's assist actually takes you out of the corner. And uh, at the finale, right there, I jumped over him, and I think maybe his button inputs got messed up, or maybe he was trying to catch me. But he did that level three, and uh, I punished him. Now that's going to be it for this video. Once again, this is going to be still in that trial stage. So if you do want to see more of this, make sure to like the video. Make sure to um, to comment down below that you do you guys do want to see it because that is how I am gauging if I should continue the series. Either way, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And if even if you aren't new here, click the notification bell so that you guys are always updated and notified when the videos go live. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, Space Cowboys. Bang.